one million dollars. How long does it last if you retire in Georgia? Okay, so this is how long one million dollars in retirement would last in Georgia, survey says. Let's take a look at this because uh, <laughs> this is uh, ridiculous. Uh, this article is pointing out how long it would take for that million dollars to last in Georgia, but the way they do it is, <laughs> uh, let's just take a look. So you have here, they're saying, hey, this in this example, they're basing it off of people that are 65 years old. They are retiring. They have a million dollars in their account. What type of account? They don't say. Uh, the cost of living in Georgia, they're saying, amounts to $46,000 a year. Now, look, this is this article is from Fox 5 Atlanta. Now, y'all know $46,000 a year. Okay, y'all think those are that if that those are the, the the household expenses or the cost of living is what they're saying here. So then they try to break it down. So y'all let me know. Uh, the annual grocery costs four thousand dollars a year. Housing costs here we go eight thousand dollars. So maybe they're talking about some property taxes or something, but they're surely not talking about a mortgage here. But they're saying annual housing costs are eight thousand dollars. Utilities three thousand five hundred twenty eight dollars and ninety cents. And you see on and on here, and then they kind of just roll everything up and just say your total annual expenditure. So your total expenses for the entire year, they're saying four thousand. I mean forty six thousand three hundred fifty three dollars and thirty five cents. So forty six thousand three hundred fifty three dollars and thirty five cents is roughly what they're saying your expenses would be. Uh, in this scenario, and how long would it last? Well, they're saying uh, <laughs> 21 years, six months, and 26 days is how long it would last. But in Hawaii, it would only last 10 years. Uh, they also go on to quote uh, a Schwab retirement plan services um, survey as well here. But look, this survey, I'm a, let's break down what's wrong with this thing. One, these costs here are just ridiculous. And this is why you have to talk to a financial advisor because you get this mumbo jumbo, crazy clickbaity article that is not helpful for anyone. This is not even general. This is not even specific enough. They're not even specifying, is there any inflation included in this? What are they really basing this information off of? So it's just $1 million. So it's not enough context to really help anybody in this situation. But what we're going to do is I'm going to debunk some of this stuff real quick just to show you guys that articles like this are not doing anyone a service. This doesn't motivate people to save for retirement. I think it actually does the opposite. It makes people feel hopeless that they shouldn't. And that's not going to be something that's useful for anyone when you start putting articles out here with misleading information. So I'm going to show you an example real quick, just based off of the information right here. So it won't be complete. It won't be perfect. But hey, we want to give you some, a more realistic picture than this terrible article did. So let's look at the information that they're saying here. They're saying, I, I love how they use here. They say $1 million could sustain them for about 21 years. 21 and a half years. But really what they're doing is just taking the the $46,000 and they're just dividing it by a million dollars. That's all they're really doing. By That's how they got that number. So they didn't include inflation. So any expenses increasing, they didn't include any social security. They didn't include anything. So let's just put this, uh, let's, I'm going to put this into uh, my financial planning software that I utilize with my clients and just kind of give you an idea of some of this stuff that they have here. Okay, so let's just utilize their weird example here saying, hey, you have a million dollar balance. They didn't say what type of balance. It's just, hey, you have a million dollars for retirement. So we don't know if it was in a 401k or IRA 
um, a savings account or an investment, uh, a certain taxable brokerage account. We don't know that these pieces of information, but we're going to work with it. So we're going to use this million dollar balance. And at age 65, we have a couple here, but they only have a million dollars. It's not saying they're getting Social Security or anything else. But what I did do is I did include inflation of 3.2 percent. So we did do that. So you will see the expenses did go up each year. But let's see how things looked after that. So with inflation, that certainly does show that, hey, by the time they reach 82, there's nothing left. That million dollars is gone. So from 65 to 82, it's nothing there by the year 80, um, by the time they turn 82, because in, by 81, they've already spent it. You see here, they run out of money actually before the end of the year of 2040. So this is this is a this is adds a little bit more information to kind of give you a better view. But there's a lot of other pieces of information that I want to add for you to make this thing a little better for you, because it's going to change how you look at this once we start once we start adding some uh, other factors in here. So what about Social Security? <laughs> what about Social Security? I mean, most people are going to re receive some version of Social Security by the time they reach uh, retirement age. You can start receiving Social Security as early as 62. So if we're going to say, let's just use in this example that one of them is start, has started to take Social Security. And for whatever magical reason, the other person doesn't qualify for any Social Security. This is not normally the case, but we're going to just use this for the purposes of this example to show you, OK, uh, to show you some additional income that the people would obviously be making. They wouldn't just be living off of one million dollars. Social Security is not going to completely go away. But let me just show you that how that looks um, and how these that those numbers are going to affect what we're looking at right now. So let's look, go to their profile here. I have Mr. Uh, Mr. Simpson here with his uh, wife, Marge. We're going to go and. Uh, I mean, if you caught that, you caught that, you did know well. Uh, we're going to go look at Marge's uh, Social Security. We're going to say, hey, she's receiving Social Security. And there we go. We're going to put in $1,200 uh, $1, a month. So we're going to put that amount in and we're just going to save it. Uh, and as we see, we don't have anything here for Homer. And uh, we are going to go. Um, and now we're going to change the we're going to change the account type because we don't know what type of account this is right now we just have this million dollars in a, just a general savings account so what interest are we earning they didn't say so what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to take this out now obviously this is an example and uh, this is a we wouldn't necessarily do this but this is just for a case study purposes we're going to put the million dollars in the investment account and show you the difference here. Uh, we're going to base it on a model portfolio of 50-50 uh, stocks and 50-50 bonds. So that's why you have equity. That's why you have fixed income. OK, so we have that in place. Now let's look at the example. A big difference. So now <laughs> we have a million dollars here. Now, remember last time the money ran, ran out, this million dollars ran out at about 81, 82 years old. Look at the balances now. Are they going down or are they going up? Obviously, they're going up, right? <laughs> they're going up and let's make sure to stop at 81. How is this happening? 81.8 million dollars is what you have, but you still have those expenses. We still have those expenses and I want to be clear. I'll show you that I'm, I haven't changed anything else. Those expenses are still there. In fact, we have inflation on them. So those expenses every year are going up year after year after year. The bills are still going up. But you also see over here to the left, you have some inflows. What are those inflows? Where where's the money coming from? Let's go back. Well, you have this portfolio uh, return. So you have your money making money for you. So now that the money is in a 50 percent stock portfolio, 50 percent bonds of that million dollars, that account is earning money. It's earning about seven percent on average each year, some years below, some uh, years more, some years right about seven, uh, seven percent. 
But the point is that average portfolio return is showing you is actually going to allow you to grow this account each year. So this is just an example of obviously there's down years that could potentially take this account, uh, take this account below that amount. But once you start adding in Social Security and a portfolio return, you're actually making money with off of that million dollars, not losing money. So when you when people tell you, hey, a million dollars isn't nothing, it depends on the situation and you need to look deeper and ignore the foolishness because depending on the situation, they probably don't know what you're talking about because they don't know your financial situation. And this is just one of those examples that shows that how this money is actually growing over time. Could this portfolio go down? Absolutely. But do you have Social Security or some different uh, sources of income that could cover those expenses? Absolutely, you could. Now, remember, let's go back to the beginning. The big problem, one of the big problems I had with this portfolio from the get go, <laughs> one of the big problems I had was this forty six thousand dollars or the 40. It was a little, little bit more down here. Uh, they added in some ad additional expenses of over $46,000 worth of expenses for a retiree in Georgia right now in 2024. You gotta be kidding me. Uh, these, th these dollar amounts are obviously too low. And maybe the this, this couple, this household, this person, it could be a, a single individual, they don't specify again uh, on that. That person really could. Uh, have maybe paid off their mortgage. They could not, but maybe they don't have any debt. So maybe they're only paying property taxes and the maintenance on the uh, on those housing costs. And that's the reason why is that low. People, you can do that as you prepare for retirement, but it takes time and it takes planning before you get there. You don't get there and get to this point. So if you have that a million dollars liquid that you can touch at age 65 for retirement, you're still going to have to plan and strategize rather than uh, and it's not the end of the world. And you're not necessarily going to run out of money at age 81 or 82. If you're living in Georgia, these are these uh, these articles like this will cause people to say, hey, even with a million dollars, I'm not going to have enough. So why don't I waste the money? That's literally how some people will look at this and you know it, too. So, look, I really need you to talk to financial professionals like a certified financial planner like myself uh, in your area or to reach out to me. We can have a consultation because things like the articles like this are misleading there. They they cause people to lose hope. And I hate that because there's so much opportunity out here and there's actually quality information and people willing to help you. And there's literally people that can literally look this information up there. So, uh, some people do have the time and the patience and they're willing to learn and work with someone to actually get some of this stuff done. But articles like this, they ain't helping us. They ain't helping nobody. Uh, so I really want you to uh, uh, be wary of the, some of these articles. If you do have that financial professional of yours, that uh and you looking at an article and you're seeing like hey this doesn't make any sense one tr check the source make it sure it's from a legitimate source and it's not from some bogus website but if it is and it's still not making sense to you send it to that financial professional so they can look at it maybe talk you through it or actually give you a little bit better explanation of what's going on with some of this stuff because i think articles like this what Fox was trying to do here is wild. I think what they were really trying to do is get people to click on articles just so they could talk about how the cost of living is great, maybe in Georgia in comparison to a place like Hawaii. Uh, <laughs> and none of this is factual. I mean, even in Hawaii, they're, they're, the, what they're earning is likely going to be different. Their, their minimum wage is higher. It's going to be these other factors people are going to their cost of living of course is going to be higher too in hawaii so is there's there's so many different factors you need to look at your personal situation don't use one of these articles and just say hey that's going to be if they can't if other people can't figure it out i'm not going to be able to so why worry about it why don't i just spend like crazy actually that is the wrong thing to do these little articles right here are going to really mislead you and lead you astray. So um, 
if you do have some questions or if you've ran into articles like this or you see some other problems in here or you have some additional questions let me know in the comments let me know what's going on follow me for more information like this uh, we definitely want you to subscribe uh, i definitely want you to keep in touch so we can debunk mess like this uh, if you have any comments, maybe some of you think it's right. I want to know if you think this is right and it's something I'm missing. I want to know. Uh, I would love to uh, get your comments from it. I'll try to link the uh, article as well so that everyone gets a chance to see the article. But I have been strolling through it so you can at least get a chance to try to read it while it's on your screen. But if this has been helpful, please let me know. Like and subscribe. Thank you so much for your time.